Hello ladies, God bless you and welcome to our week 4 challenge. I'm so so excited about this um, No Carbohydrates week because um, it's one of the weeks that always for me but also for participants and um, it's also one of the toughest weeks but uh, if you know me you know that I like tough things I like things that challenge me that push me to the core especially when I know that the results are going to be amazing so I'm really really excited about um, our no caps week going through the the whole week till Saturday so uh, hope we're doing great uh, happy Easter once again and um, may the joy of the resurrection uh, which sets us free from sin which sets us free from coronavirus which sets us free from all kinds of pain and sorrow may it fill your hearts um, today and always so I just wanted to ask you have you ever gone a day without some form of processed caps something like bread rice cereals like you know muesli oatmeal pasta biscuits cake have you ever gone through a day without that any of that um, if I ask you that question, you might think and say, mm, no, I, I can't remember. But I bet you, you must, you, it's, it, it's possible that you've gone through a day without eating any carbohydrates, any processed carbohydrates, but you just didn't notice. And why didn't you notice? Because you didn't plan to. Maybe it just happened. For example, that days you get up and you're just not hungry and you pick on little things, you pick here and there, or you eat just something and... You know, it happens, but because it's not planned, it's okay. But the moment it's planned, like now, when we say, okay, this week we are not eating carbohydrates, then it becomes a fight. It becomes a struggle. It becomes a talk of war. Why? Because it's always a mind game. Your body, we are in our sinful nature. We are meant to, to resist what is good. We are always meant to resist what is good for us. So anything that is good, our mind tries to, not even our mind, our inner, the Germans will call it inner shrine hunt. So that inner devil in us will try to resist anything that is good for us, especially when you have a goal that you are following. So I don't know how you felt when you, you listened to the challenge yesterday. Maybe some of you were already thinking, oh my God, it has never happened. It has never happened because we all grew up with rice, bread and everything. We all, we, we, we all grew up like that, you know, so, uh, so it is something very radical. It is something very drastic. It is something very strange and very new to us. Um, that is exactly how I felt at the start. The first time I did a no cap week, I thought I was going to die because I love pastry. I love bread. I love fish rolls and I love anything that has to do with bread. Cakes, not so much, but if you give me cake, I'm going to eat it. I will not say no, but I love bread. I love pancakes. I love anything that has to do with flour. Give it to me. I'll eat it. I love rice. Yasmin, Yasmin uh, scented rice. I love it. You know, so it was really tough. It was really going to be tough. Like, but the truth is that um, in the many years that I've been struggling with my weight, you know, going up and down, being pregnant and struggling to lose the baby fat and being pregnant again and just going up and down. I've been pushed to, to, to research more and more why sometimes, why it's so difficult actually to lose weight, why sometimes I struggle, I don't eat at all, I eat very little, I run away from fat, I don't even put a drop of fat in my food, but I'm still putting on weight. I tried to research on that until last year, when I started hearing the talks about the keto diet, when I started hearing talks about it and I was like, huh, what is this keto diet? And then I went in to do some research, talk with a friend who was doing it and she told me a little more about it. So the main, uh, the, the main fall of the keto diet, we're not doing the keto diet, but I'm just trying to talk about the keto diet because the no cap diet comes from it. You know, the no cap comes from it. So the theory behind this diet is that because the body, the main source, the original source of fall for the body is carbohydrates. Okay, that is how the body has been programmed from the origin. It's carbohydrates. So carbohydrates is the primary. So when the body wants to get fuel, that is fuel to keep us alive, to keep us going, to keep us strong and, and able to do all the things that we do, it first goes to look for um, carbohydrates where it has, 
stored carbohydrates where that, that is the primary that is the go to the first um, the first goal the first choice is carbohydrates so the body goes and gets carbohydrates and gives us the energy that we need so we can we can we are strong we are able to do the things that we do so when you eat carbohydrates again the body will, will, will still use it but the truth is that the amount of carbohydrates that we eat is way too much it is way more than what we need so the body is not able to consume to 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 to, to transform all the carbohydrates that we have eaten into energy so what does it do it stores some for the next time and then we keep eating because we also eat too much three square meals snacks and all the like the body keeps storing carbohydrates the body keeps storing carbohydrates and then what what do you do it never gets to use any of the fat that it has also been storing so the fat just stays there you know and we keep on eating and eating so i come to understand that to it to, in in order to to start losing weight you have to actually trick the body to to start using fats to start burning fats for energy but then because the body knows that so long as there are carbohydrates, the body is not going to burn fat. So you can only force the body to start burning fats, the process that is called ketosis, if I understand well, if there is no carbohydrates to grab, if there is no carbohydrates to, to take, to, 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 to transform to energy. So then the body is now forced to go to the second choice, which is then the fat. And then it starts burning fat. And that is how the weight starts melting. So that is the theory behind it. I hope it makes sense. The first time I heard it, it just blew me away. It made a lot of sense, of course. So um, fat is not the enemy. Actually, well, some fats are not good, definitely. But we have healthy sources of fats. I think we've done them all. We know what are the healthy sources of fats. Those ones are good. And we need to eat them because we need to eat them to, to fill to fill up this, the, the gap from carbohydrates. Because the more fats we consume, the less carbohydrates we consume, now the body is forced to um, go to the reservoir of fats and then we start losing weight. So that's the theory behind it. I hope you've understood. So... Now that we've started the, 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 the no cap week, what is the goal? What are we hoping to achieve? What, what do you expect? Well, what I can tell you is that though it was a tough journey, it was really, really tough. I was tired. I was feeling tired. I was feeling weak. I was feeling frustrated. I was tempted all the time to grab bread, to grab this, to grab that. But at the end of that week, I was so, so happy that I had made that experience. I was proud of myself. I felt great. I looked great. My stomach was flat. I felt light. I was just all around beautiful. I was just happy. I was just so happy. And uh, the no cap week cannot be emphasized. I mean, the benefits of no cap diet is cannot be emphasized. And it's just, it's not just about looking great or feeling great. It's also about the healing that comes along with it um, um this low carb diet sometimes is prescribed to diabetes patients and they are healed just like that blood pressure is normalized just like that when you stop eating carbohydrates or when you minimize your carbohydrate intake you can't stop it completely it's not possible but you limit it to a minimum uh, a really really minimum okay so what i can tell you is that definitely it's not going to be easy um the day is almost done i don't know how you feel right now but even me i've done this before i think this is the third time i'm doing a no cap week or maybe the fourth and today has been tough i'm right now i'm feeling like oh my god i'm feeling like i've not eaten today do you know why just because i've not eaten puff puff just because i've not eaten bread i'm feeling but but i've eaten and i'm full but it's just my mind it's a mind game it's a mind game okay so the first two days are definitely going to be tough because your mind is playing games with you your mind is fighting with you but you need to always remember your body can stand almost everything it is your mind that you have to convince you have to keep telling your mind that no i'm not starving no, even though I feel a bit weak now, I'm going to get used to it. You need to keep telling your mind, I'm fine. I have all the nutrients that I need. I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't need all these carbohydrates. I'm fine. I'm fine. You need to keep reminding yourself. And by Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you begin to 
see your body changing you begin to see yourself getting back to normal you you, you begin to see um things taking shape so what what is it what is what should you expect during this um during this week one i already talked about it it's a mind game it's going to be a talk of war believe me it's not going to be easy so if i sit here and tell you it's going to be easy then i'm lying to you and i just want you to give up immediately because it's not going to be easy so prepare yourself prepare your mind that is not going to be easy but it's going to be worth it okay it's not going to be easy but it's going to be worth it and you have the strength you have all that it takes to make it through this week without messing it up so please don't mess it up for me don't mess it up for yourself because you have all that it's it takes okay then the second thing that you should expect during this week is that you're going to feel faint if you remember the first time you did a detox day you felt faint you felt weak at some times right so now imagine um taking out um carbohydrates from your diet something that your body has been used to for 30 years 40 years 50 years 60 years i don't know how old you are your body is going to riot. Your system is going to riot. Everything is going to be confused in you. And this could lead to headaches. You could feel faint. You could feel dizzy. You could have stomach ache. Maybe by the second or third day, you could start having maybe constipation or stomach ache. You can feel funny. They call all these things the keto flu. Sometimes you might have muscle cramp or just general feelings of weakness. All these things are very, very normal. You, you, can, it, you must not experience them. But if you experience such feelings during this week, please know that it's a general it's a normal side effect of your body trying to adapt to not receiving um, ca processed carbohydrates as it's used to, okay? So what is the solution? Well, the solution is that 